ready when you boys are. <laughs> All right. Beautiful Corvette a cold star for me if you do not mind, sir. Yeah, I can do that. I got the button right here. Oh my goodness. Oh Jesus Christ. Good morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. Last night we took Hank out racing. Had some honestly a lot more fun than I was expecting with the GT500 that was really freaking fast. But today we are finally taking this thing turned up to the track to put some numbers down and see how fast it actually is because we haven't done that yet. The only time that I've taken this thing to the track so far, it was on pump gas. We ran like an 11.5, and uh, we have since added about 300 more horsepower. And so, although we're not gonna be able to run the full quarter mile, uh, the track that we're going to today is an eighth mile. It apparently has great prep, so the truck should do amazing today. So, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead get out of here, head out to the track, and uh, I think we're gonna fill up, grab some lunch before then. So let's go ahead and get this thing cold start, baby. Yeah. Why'd you pull up to the same pump? The same one. I don't know. They all be leaking? Or is this the same one from? I don't know. I didn't really think about it, to be honest. Man, all I'm saying is that you could tell people it's technically Bro. on pump gas. Yeah. It's coming out the pump. <laughs> look at the look at the tires, for real. That's making some power. Being careful, like you, it hasn't already just poured over the side of the truck. I know, man. I'm just trying to keep it down. And the nice microfiber. Ah. If we were to rewrap this truck, what would we rewrap it? Bro, that's hard. I know. You should rewrap it with a new 2022 Shelby F-150 uh, <laughs> color scheme. <laughs> Let's try this again. We are back today at the track. After a little bit of fun last night, I think we're gonna be able to go in for some tests and tune today. I have a feeling there'll probably be some fast shit out here, so. I ain't got been in the track in a while. Dang, dude. It looks like there's stuff going on all over the place out here. There's some pretty quick looking cars. Dunny? <laughs> yeah? What you think's gonna be a run for the truck? I'm you not, think I don't we got know. any competition out here or no? I'm trying to find something. Oh. That one, right there. Oh. That one. Yep, that's probably gonna be the one. That's, the that's one. probably gonna be it. <laughs> they said you don't even have a tank card, you just roll up and go. Really? That's awesome. Going out way down here to go see what other cars are here. It looks like there's a bunch of stuff down here. Got the whole Fox Body, whole Fox Body gang out here. That thing is so sick. Almost fours in the eight. Oh my god. Oh hell no, we're calling this out. Look at the come look at the firewall. This track is looking great, it looks like. So we're about to go get in the truck real quick, make our first pass in it. I'm gonna be riding by myself, so I'm gonna turn it up pretty much as much as what we've comfortably been able to take it to recently. And we're gonna see what this thing actually has been doing this entire time. All I know is that it's fast. We're about to find out exactly how fast. 
After that, maybe I could pick some bones with some cars around here and stir up some trouble and get some runs going. Maybe I don't. I don't know. You know one thing. That truck looked bad. Meanwhile. Running that Shelby truck right there? Sure. All right, cool. You think he'll do a burnout? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know how to read this time slip. Like, I know that sounds stupid, but yeah, there's an ET down here at the bottom that says 7-1, but then there's also an ET up here that seems more accurate that's a 6-6. Six, six. It should be 60 foot, 330, and then 660 is the eighth mile. So I don't know, I guess this might be a thousand foot, uh -huh. but it doesn't say. I'm pretty sure it did a 6-6. Six, six. I, I would like, I'm pretty positive it's a 6-6. Six, six. The, six, six. the draggy said it did a 6-6 six, six on the street. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that it would do a 6-6 six, six. here. Oh. It might be fast. Uh -oh. Maybe. Might be fast. I'm gonna go check it out. Huh? Where are the cheeseburgers around here? Cheeseburgers? Yeah, there's that on their website that they sell. Oh, really? Yeah. I have no idea. I didn't know that. <laughs> definitely fast. Yeah. Faster than the last blue one. Yeah, I think I was talking about that blue one. Yeah. <laughs> that one? Yeah. I'm ready when you boys are. Oh. <laughs> All right. That thing is awesome. That is so yeah, unique. That is I love it. That is my favorite thing I've seen out here. Yep. Thank you. I done seen your faster than me, but I believe I'm quick. Yeah. All right. I'll let him get the jump. Yeah, this is going to be let, fun. I'll let him get the jump. All right. came and opened my door and he was like brother this thing is too fast to not have a helmet on put that on i was like gotcha he's like you're about to make a hell of a pass go <laughs> hell yeah it did literally like the uh, an identical pass i tried that time instead of getting on it and trying to spool it i tried to just like what immediately right before the light turned green same thing same exact time 666 is what it actually ran all right I'm about to go make a hit in the Corvette. This is going to be the first pass. Actually, hey, do you want to run the Corvette? For real? Yeah, I'll run against you. 
All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Daniel's fastest time that he ran at the track whenever he took his Mustang out. He, we ran these from a roll with this that video. They were like really, really close. So we wanted to see how close these two would be from a dig. So Daniel, is this your fastest? Yes, this is my fastest time right here. Eighth mile is an 8-1, 1960 foot. All right. All right. Hey guys, I have no expectations for this at all. I just really want to take the car down just to see what it's going to do. Uh, this guy just got out here in his car. It's an NA cammed three valve Mustang, it appears, and uh, it's an auto. He was wanting to run just to test his car, so I figured let's run them both. Have a plug. There we go. Look at him go. I taught him how to drag race real quick. backwards on the line actually whenever i was getting ready to leave the car rolled backwards and broke the beam i read lit backwards really yeah wow that's whack i know i saw you had some pretty nice wheel hop oh yeah yeah 815 8 i don't know what the time was because it just says ne negative zero it says that my 60 foot was a 4.4 4. yeah uh, probably get some rush tree maybe yeah and everybody's lined up now they might be starting competition practice. Yeah. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know either. What's up? What's up? How's it going? How y'all doing? What's, what's, what's up? Right it's just waiting in between rounds. Oh, okay, okay. Navigation and everything? Yeah, AC, full cool interior, navigation. I'm scared to, to see the price on it. <laughs> they normally come supercharged, mm -hmm. but we got this one without the supercharger for about 90, and then we put twin turbos on it after that. So it's a it's a twin turbo, 10 speed, four wheel drive Coyote, essentially. And it probably gets better, better gas mileage with the twin turbo than it does the supercharger. Yeah, on 93, definitely. The last time we had it on a dyno, I made it about 850. It was doing good out here, though, huh? I heard he ran like a 6.3 or yeah, something. Yeah, he got like down that. to the final three, I think. Really? Yeah. That's cool. So he was in the final three last night. We what just beat him from the day. Yeah, oh, that's what he was talking about. Really? Yeah. He was in the final three up here. So this truck, I'm telling you, dude, this truck would be pretty damn good up here. All right, guys, everybody is getting ready to start bracket racing and get their whole competition started for the rest of the day. So we're going to head back home. We just really wanted to come out and get some testing done and see how fast the truck is. Turns out it is pretty damn fast. I was expecting it to do a little bit lower in the sixes, but 660s is not bad for a full-size truck with AC heats. I mean, I don't know. The thing is full interior as it gets. With a tonneau cover, we've even got carpet inside of the bed. So it's just like... Pretty cool to see that thing go that quick. It's fast. Yeah, it really it's is. Fast. Yeah, um, definitely, you should definitely take it out here and do some bracket racing. Yeah. After talking to the guys here. That yeah, sounds like it would be, be fun. fun. It really would. We also got to make a little test hit in the C7. Unfortunately, we had wheel hop, but also somehow red lit. I let off the clutch and I guess we slid back. I didn't even know you could red light from sliding backwards. I didn't know it would do it. I rolled backwards. backwards and it just, I saw it break the beam and just killed it red lit so oh well we're gonna head back home i think we had a little bit of fun so maybe we'll get into something later on this afternoon or tomorrow i don't know but for now see you guys in a little bit